this morning we're going to learn about the current operator or current op uh, which looks at the current operations for a database in Mongo and the first thing we're going to do is we're not going to pass in any parameter which would be true we're just going to look at it without a parameter and then we're going to look at it with a parameter of true and I'm not going to cover every single one of the these items in here but let's highlight some of the fields that will definitely be important to know especially as a, as a beginner uh, the first one is the OPID or the op ID uh, basically that is the identifier if you would or the ID for the operation okay so for instance if you wanted to kill an op um, that is exactly how you would go about doing that um, for instance this right here is op ID 5 this is op ID 0 um, this is op ID 0 as well 0 0 0 31 uh, 32 okay so that's op ID uh, the other one is active. So if it's active, it's true. I mean, if it's it's if it's true, that means it's started. Um, and if it's false, it means that it's basically queued, and um, it's it's waiting for what's the term? It's waiting for its its turn to run, or or for well, it depends on the operation. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the next one is the uh, we see op, which you uh, see in this case is none. This is the type of transaction that it is, or I should say, I'm sorry, not transaction, but the type of operation. So, um, so for instance, you'll notice that this one right here is a query, right? Well, if we were going to add a value, um, it would be insert instead of uh, query. Um, so this will tell us uh, what exactly the operation is, which is uh, very useful. Excuse me. And then, of course, in uh, the query, we can actually see uh, the query being run. <clears throat> so that's based on all of my work so far. This is very handy to know. Um, that's very uh, useful. And then, of course, we have some of the, the more, what I would say, you know, what we would expect. These aren't unimportant, but like client, um, desk, and we have waiting for lock number of yield, number of yields, I'm sorry, and lock stats. Um, these are important, but I wouldn't worry about them if you're new. You can definitely look them up and, uh, and then dig around in others. But for the most part, when you're looking at this, um, I would definitely get familiar with this, get familiar with the queries, and uh, get familiar with like what happens if you're doing an update or an insert. And then from there, uh, go and, and dig around and, and get a little deeper. <clears throat> 